Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Poor Man Pedals. Today, uh, I'm gonna go back to the, I'm gonna revisit the vlog idea. Uh, I had actually recorded this video a long time ago and then before I could finish editing it, the hard drive it was on crapped out and therefore you guys never actually saw it. So now I'm re-recording this video and what I'm gonna be talking about is my top five dream amplifiers. Uh, there aren't really any qualifiers on this. I know I did like dream signature guitars and dream uh, non-signature guitars, but I feel like there aren't as many signature amps, at least not well known, and not that I 100% care about owning. So there, we're, there are no qualifiers. This is just five amps that I wanna see. Be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe, all down below. Hit that bell if you want to be notified whenever there are brand new episodes of Poor Man Pedals for you to watch. Now on to, oh, I should note, these are in no particular order really. Um, yeah. So without further ado, let's get started with number five. <laughs> My number five pick for amps that I wish I could own, but I don't. I'm going to go with a softball here. I am going to say the Boss Katana Mark II 100 watt version. I have here a Boss Katana 50 Mark I. I want the 100 Mark II. One, because Mark II is newer and therefore slightly better. I mean, slightly better. But the big, the big reason really is the 100 watt version has stuff that the 50 watt doesn't have. Uh, now I'm not necessarily talking about the 2x12, although that would be awesome. I would be just as happy to get a 1x12 100 watt because of one key feature that I really, I really should have just gone for it. I should have just spent the extra, you know, 100, 150 for it. But in effects loop, I love my Mark 50, but it does not have, or my Mark 50, my 50 watt, but it does not have an effects loop. And that kills me a little inside. Um, so that's why at number five, I have the Katana 100 Mark II. Number four on my list. This is one, I've actually played this one at uh, guitar stores. It's the Black Star, Black Star, I think it's the HT Studio. It might be the HT Club. I'm not, I can't remember exactly if it's the club or the studio, but one of those. Uh, they come in a wide range of wattage. I think the one I played was like a five watt, so I'd love to hear like a 40 watt or a 20 watt even. Uh, and they just sound great. Like the Blackstar HT series sound great. I've sat in guitar stores, plugged into it, just tweet. I love that ISF knob. Um, I, I like to have it along with other tone controls, but have the ISF knob to help you go for more of a uh, British sound to an American sound. It's really nice to have really helps bring versatility to the amp and that's why it makes the number four spot. My number three amp, this is going to be the first signature model that we have listed on here and that is the Mesa Boogie JP2C. And this is the signature model amp of the great John Petrucci. John Petrucci is one of my guitar heroes. And so I would absolutely love to have his signature amp, just like how I want his signature guitar. That's right, I want John Petrucci's signature guitar so bad. But the signature amp would also help me achieve his great sound. Unfortunately, it won't help me achieve 
being as great a player. I guess I gotta go practice for that one. At number two, we have probably the... This one is probably tied for first for ones that I... I know that I said that they aren't ranked, but I kind of put them ranked. But the number two and number one are basically tied for the amp I want the most. And this is the PRS Mark Tremonti Signature Amp, the MT-15. This thing sounds killer. All the reviews love it. I got to play it once with my guitar with the Mark... Tremonti sign signature bridge pickup it sings I love it so much plus I really think it's cool how it changes color depending on what channel you're on I think that's a great feature it looks great it sounds amazing how could I not want it plus I love Mark Tremonti another one of my guitar heroes so It's time for my number one pick. That's right. So what could be just as awesome in my eyes as the MT-15? Well, that would be the amp that you hear whenever you listen to 90s and early 2000s rock, and that is the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. That's right. I'm talking about another Mesa Boogie amp, and it's the Dual Rec. If you listen to rock music from the 90s or early 2000s, there's a good chance you're listening to the Dual Rec. It is a very popular amp. It sounds great. Well, yeah, it sounds great. It's on a bajillion records. I wish, I wish I could play one so bad. They are, they are a little too much for me, though. But alas. <laughs> Maybe someday I can sound like I belong in the 90s. Anyways, those are my picks for my top five dream amps. Let me know in the description below, what are your top five dream amps? What amps do you wish you could own if money were no object? And also, don't forget to once again hit that like, subscribe, and leave me that comment. And if you like, hit the bell. And you'll be the first to be notified that there are new episodes of Poor Man Pedals. So until next time, Poor Man Pedals is out.